This place, this place is heaven. Is heaven. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is Afghanistan. This is Afghanistan. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love it here. I love you here. I love you. I love you. Good morning from Jalalabad, Afghanistan. Today we're on a 14 hour journey to a place that up until 2021 was completely unsafe and completely off limits to tourists. It's called Nuristan. Let's go. We've got a 14 hour drive and I can't edit any videos on the computer because this place is so secure and they're so concerned about spies that if they yes. see the computer, we might have a problem. Yes. Wow. This is a very long 12 to 14 hour drive. Our driver, Muhammad Alam, is a great driver, but he, he seems to be addicted to caffeine and energy drinks. This right here is called what? Naswa. Naswa. This is green tobacco mixed with some other really addicted shit that he chews all day long to maintain his energy level along with having a Red Bull. <laughs> You're a crazy man. Watch out. It's almost lunchtime and we're in the last city before pretty much nothingness. So we're looking for some snacks. He's selling live chickens on the side of the road. Salam alaikum, my friend. We're not buying a live chicken. So since I can't film out the window here, I'm just gonna tell you what I see. Everyone is dressed in traditional clothing. There are 13 or 14 kids in the back of a small truck here. I'm getting a lot of stares, a lot of strange and puzzled looks my way because they, they really don't see foreigners. It's actually hailing right now. Ooh! Oh, 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 oh. The street is filled with ice. Look at this. This is not the weather I signed up for in Afghanistan. This hail is so bad that I don't even think the Taliban wants to stop us. Okay guys, the weather has gotten a little better. The hail seems to have stopped. This is the heart of Taliban country. And before they took over, this was very, very unsecure. But now that they've taken over the country, it's a little bit more secure. So I was told it's okay to get out of the car here and show you some of the beautiful Nuristan scenery. The weather gods are smiling on us. The call to prayer is in the background. The sun is out, things are looking up. We've got a problem. Mm, so close. Yes. This, this was the problem. Oh. The road is a little bumpy here, so should I expect it to be unpaved for the rest of the way? Yes. And how many more hours do we have? Eight hours, yeah. <laughs> I just hit my head because I wasn't holding on, so I'm now holding on with two hands. <laughs> no, we are not going there. You saw us being knocked back and forth, up and down in the car. It's because of this. These roads are no joke. Look at this rock right here. Look at that. Nuristan is the best. Is the best. You are the best. You are the best. I love you. I love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, it's all fun and games until an adult arrives. Adult arrived, we get out. He was upset that the kids were on the camera? Yeah. Bye! Bye! A couple hours more till we reach our destination. There was a woman ziplining across this river to her house. She had a bag of groceries. Just one of the things I love about travel is you never know what you're gonna see. People are living so differently here. I just appreciate that.
We have made it in 11 and a half hours. Ow! Welcome to the nicest hotel in Nuristan. That's my lovely bed. You got to see these pillows. This, this is why I travel with a pillow. Travel hack number one. High five. High five. High five. Nuristan. Zindabad. Assalamu alaikum. This is how we eat breakfast at the nicest hotel in Nuristan. Oh, we got some good eggs. Bread. Uh, Tashakur. Welcome, welcome. Sir. Do you smoke while you sleep? Cigarette. Yeah, first thing in the morning. When we were in college, we called that wake and bake. Uh, but you're smoking cigarettes, not, not hash. Good morning from downtown Parun. This is the capital of Nuristan and the most populated village in the entire region. This right here is the gas station. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What is your from? I'm from America. What is your name? My name is Aminullah. Aminullah? Ah. Mashallah. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. What do we have here? This is peach energy drink. Yes. Wow. The thing about Afghanistan is that everyone drinks energy drinks. Do you drink? Drink. Energy oh. drink? Yes. No coffee? Coffee, no. Energy drink? Yes. Yes. You sell shoes too? Shoes, yes. Are you the boss? Yes. Do you sleep here? Yes. Right here? Sleep. Uh, wow. Where do you go to the toilet? Toilet. Toilet. <laughs> I look Afghan? Afghan, yes. Afghan. Except for my face. This, no. This, no, no. This, this, yes. Yes. <laughs> you also sell gas? Yes. You're like the Walmart of Nuristan. I am Walmart. You are the Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with my man, Abdullahab, and he was kind enough to give me his hat. Actually, I think he wears my hat better, but I don't wear his hat very well. So we're gonna, we're gonna switch back. <laughs> Much better. Touch your core. <laughs> Salam alaikum. This is the barber at 8 in the morning. Yeah, you good? Like, like. SpongeBob. You know SpongeBob? And SpongeBob in Pashtun? Nuristani. Nurs oh, Nuristani. Nuristani. Wow, they make, they make SpongeBob in Nuristani? Nuristani. That is incredible. Wow. I love SpongeBob. Good morning, everyone from Nuristan. It was a long, almost 12 hours to get here, but Take a look at this beautiful scenery. So worth it. I'm here with my man Ahmad Bashir. Salam alaikum. Oh, alaikum salam. Oh. <laughs> he's our local guide and he's going to take us up into the mountains. Inshallah. Inshallah. Let's go. Welcome to Nuristan. Yeah, take a look. We're only 10 minutes into our drive and already the nature is stunning. You can see the cows are loving it behind me. What's great about this part of Afghanistan is not only the spectacular nature, but the people here are so very, very different. They've been living an isolated life for a very long time and their culture is quite different from the rest of Afghanistan. Okay, we've arrived at the starting point for our hike and you can see these are the cattle houses. The people live in the houses that are painted and their cattle live in these lovely houses with the great view and the sunshine. Not a bad place to hang out if you're a cow. I couldn't have said it better myself. Aww. Hello. This cow is so soft. You are so soft and adorable. I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are so cute. Forgive me if I'm out of breath, but it's pretty steep and we're hiking at 2,600 meters up to 3,100 meters. So, yeah, a little short of breath. Climbing the mountain in sandals. I'm not worthy. Woo! 
Nurstan! It looks like a, a house behind you, right, right over yeah. there, kind of built into the rock. Does anyone live there? No, this village is famous by the name of Vaitalo, which is the name of Mecca. Here it was, it was not possible to people go to the pilgrimage from here and uh, they made a house here and they put it a holy name. After that, the people was coming here to do their pilgrimage and it was accepted as a Haji person. So they did pilgrimage in that house up there? Yeah. Can you hear that? It's the call to prayer in Nuristan. It's so beautiful. A bunch of kids here playing cricket. They were playing cricket and now they've just kind of like... Oh, they want to see the camera. That's what they want to see. Hey! Look at this incredible setting where they're playing football. They're playing baseball with a pine cone. This is awesome. So he lifts it up and then he whacks it. Oh! Home run! Just heading back to the hotel after a brilliant hike and the cows are coming home. What a life. You got all the green grass you want, buddy. Are these all your cows? Yeah, how many? Ten. Ten cows? Ten cows. And how many sheep? 25. 25 sheep? Sheep. And 10 cows? 10 cows, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from day two in Norstad. I'm standing on this very, very rickety bridge over the river. It bounces up and down. This is how the locals get to town. Look at the beautiful view behind me. This is Afghanistan. What do you think of my beaker? Good? Good. Look at his face. He's okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Is that the game the kids play with the used bullets? Yeah. So we've found our first little cave here up in the mountains. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, it's nice and cool in here, that's for sure. Looks like just a place for some goats or some sheep. You'll find a lot of these places here in Afghanistan. But this is the first I've seen with a view like this. So we just found this abandoned house. Perhaps it was a Taliban outpost at one point. Another house with an even better view. Take a look at this. Hey, hey, hey. We found the snow, look at that. This is the watermelon? Yeah. We're going to put it under the snow. Okay. Oh, you're just going to make a hole there? Yeah. Brilliant. Watermelon berry. We've got a little onion. We've got some cucumbers, some cream cheese, all washed off right here in the stream. Perfect lunch in a perfect location. Yum. And now the moment of truth. Is the watermelon cold? Watermelon. Look at that. Yeah. Woo! Nice. Uh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. 
Look at that. Awesome. Little salt. Wow. Cheers. Mmm. It's good cold, isn't it? So perfectly fresh. So perfectly cold. So perfect Nuristan. Hi. Baby go to do to do to do baby go to do to do to do baby go to do to do to do baby go Beaker. We've gotten some nice photos of kids and traditionally dressed men, but you probably noticed that there are no photos of women. My man Bashir, the photo police, is keeping me from taking any photos of women. Understandable, that's the culture, but just so you know, there's, there's a lot of women out and they're working in the fields, they're beautifully dressed, they're not kept behind closed doors. They're picnicking in the green pastures next to the river. It's such an incredible sight. You know what? You're just gonna have to come here for yourself to see it. Hey! Oh, into the Taliban truck. I think I found my long lost Irish brother, but neither one of us are Irish. In this part of Afghanistan, there are a lot of people with light eyes. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah. You are most welcome, sir. Ah, thank you very yes. much. In Nuristan, please. You enjoy it. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, yes. I really have. Thank you. Thank Mashallah. You. The cows are going home. Uh oh, the cows are coming back. Come on. Your cows got away from you. <laughs> Mashallah. Mashallah. Well, we've got another hour of sunlight and then. Night will fall on my spectacular 48 hours in Nuristan. This has been a fairy tale landscape, amazing people that I've met, awesome animals, well worth the 12 hours to get here. If you want to see true, beautiful people interacting with nature in a way that you haven't seen it, you need to come to Nuristan. If you like this video, I have so much more Afghanistan content for you. You will not believe how amazing this country is. The people, the landscapes, the history, it's all here in Afghanistan. If you'd like to watch another video, I'd be so honored. Click right here. Nuristan. 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 Bye-bye, Nuristan. Nuristan.